99.5 WKDQ. It's the St. Jude Radiothon. I'm on the line right now with my music business professor. I got to tell you, the first time I ever went to St. Jude was with this guy. His name is David Ray. And uh, Dr. D, you used to be a tour guide there at St. Jude, right? Yeah, I was there for about four years. And and, and you took us there. And, and the, the main thing I remember you telling me before we got there was you've been there for that long. And, and not once do you ever remember hearing a child cry. And as soon as we got there, we, we took a tour. We were there for a few hours. Not once did we ever hear a child cry while we were there. No. And uh, as sick as some of those children are, it was always amazing to me that uh, I never did hear them cry. It, it was amazing. And, and you've, you've probably got to experience quite a lot there while you were there. Tell me a little bit about the facility and really how impactful it is on, on its patients. Well, I think, you know, first of all, I, I think what some people don't understand is that uh, St. Jude Hospital has become like a tourist spot. I gave tours to people from Europe from Asia, as well as from almost every state in the Union who had heard about St. Jude and wanted to come and see it. I know for me personally, it made and still has a huge impact in my life. When I decided to come back to the West Coast, really the hardest decision for me was to leave my volunteering stuff at St. Jude because I really, really loved it. I loved kids. You know, you'd see kids come in, be really sick, and you'd see them leave, and they were pretty much back to normal, and you'd see some that would come in and they probably weren't going to make it. So it's kind of a heartbreaking thing, but no matter how big a problem I had in a given day or a downer in a given day, I could always go there and I realized that, you know, my troubles were pretty minuscule compared to these kids. What kind of motivation would you give someone who's, who's kind of on the fence right now as to should they become a partner in Hope today or not? Well, the issue is, is that most of these a lot of these kids, I won't say most of them, but a lot of them, they would never be able to afford the care they, they get at St. Jude. And when St. Jude says that no child is ever billed for any services there, that's completely true. The, the children don't pay for any services there. And that research hospital, their research spans around the world to cure these cancers. And that should be impetus enough. These, these kids haven't had a chance to live yet. And you, you can really help. It really does make a difference. It really does. And it's only just a $20 a month. You can become a partner in Hope right now by calling 1-800-372-4999. Now, of, of all the things that you've seen there at the facility, Dr. D, what's probably the most special thing in that entire facility that really kind of brings hopes to these kids? Well, it was it was difficult for me sometimes just not to get to it, attach to some of the kids because giving tours and, you know, we would give tours, like I said, to everybody uh, in the world that would come there and want to see it, which I would urge your listeners, if they have a chance and they're in Memphis, they should schedule a tour. But, you know, we had a lot of celebrities come through there as well. You know, a couple of kids stand out of my mind, an event where I brought in members of the band Foreigner to meet the kids and they went crazy, st stands out on my mind. You know, just a lot of special moments there. And those kids, they, they just stand up so well in the face of the problems they have, the health issues they have. That is exactly what I've noticed by by my two visits there and I'll, I'll never forget the first one of you taking us around there and and really learning all about the facility and and what it has to offer and just knowing that anyone who goes there they don't have to pay a dime they don't have to worry about a thing no and, and like i said you know when you see a child i remember one of my last times there a child in north carolina uh, had gone for a checkup and they had diagnosed cancer and that thursday night the child was on a plane to to memphis at the hospital's expense and they were checked in that night to uh the facility so i mean that's how fast they work you know it's it's just a special place it, it really is it's a magical place in a lot of instances and it's a sad place at the same time and obviously the goal would be one day to not even need the hospital because everyone has done their part to make sure that the research has happened and it's cured this cancer and that would be the ultimate goal of the hospital but that's it's just not happened yet and and we need your help you can call and become a partner in hope today at 1-800-372-4999 dr d it is always a pleasure talking to you thank you so much for taking time out of your day to uh, to discuss saint jude and and all that you've seen and learned from it as well. Always good to talk to a former student, and I'm proud of you, Travis. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Dr. D, and we'll be talking with you soon, okay? Okay, buddy.